Hi, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss the difference between get and load method in Hibernate. Okay, so if you are, if you look at the first time, the both methods look similar, right? So, but there are a few differences between them. So let's understand the difference between get and load method in this video, and uh, I, I would like to demonstrate uh, the difference between these two methods with an example. Okay, so. So look at the points here. Uh, so session dot load method it always returns a proxy object, so without hitting the database. So in Hibernate proxy is an object with a given identifier value. Uh, its properties are not at a initialized, so it, it just looks like a temporary fake object. Okay, and if no rows are found in a database, then it will throw an object not found exception. Okay. So session dot load method it always returns a proxy object without hitting a database. And if there are no records found in a database, then it it will throw an object not found exception. Okay. In case of session dot get method, it always hit the database and returns the real object, an object that represents a database row, not a proxy. So when we call a get method, it always hit the database and it retrieves the record from the database. So it won't return the proxy object, okay? And uh, if if no records are found in a database, or uh, uh, and uh, then it will return the null value, okay? It doesn't uh, throw the object dot found exception. All right. So let's uh, uh, let me demonstrate these points with an example. So here I'm in Eclipse ID to demonstrate this, uh, you know, uh, difference between get and load method. I have created a sample Hibernate application here. Okay, and student is uh, a JP entity and we are saving this student object into a database. So I have I have created a database in a MySQL workbench and I have, you know, we have a student table with two records. Let me show you. So look at here, uh, Hibernate underscore demo database. Inside that we have a student table, and student table contains two records. Okay. Now we are trying to uh, retrieve these two records using get and load method. So we have ID one and two, right? So notice here we are using get method to retrieve a student record with ID one, and here we are uh, using load method to retrieve a student record with the ID2. So let me run this application and let's see the output. Perfect. So look at uh, closely observe the output here. So in case of uh, load method, so it will it it directly hit the database and it fires the SQL SQL statement here. Okay, it will execute the select uh, SQL query. Uh, okay, and then it will uh, print the uh, statements here. Look at here. So when it, when when we call a get method, so it will hit the database and it will uh, you know execute the SQL select query, and then you know then it will return the object and we have printed here. Okay. So observe here in case of load method. So in case of load method, it will it won't hit the database so it will return the proxy object so look at here so so as soon as we access some properties of this object then only it will hit it will you know retrieve the proxy object right so look at here so it have printed a student load called uh, here and then it printed the id of the student record and then it will execute the select query here. Okay, so it means that it will return the proxy object. So it means that the load method will load the data after accessing some properties of the object. But in case of get method, it will load the data. Uh, uh, it will load the data when uh, it load the data directly from the database, not the proxy object. Okay. So let me demonstrate uh, if we call get and load method with a, with, with a different ID, I mean the ID which is not exist in a database. 
okay so load method will throw the uh, exception but get method will return the null value let me demonstrate that so we get here i have a piece of code here uh, we are using get student method to retrieve uh, the student record and uh, i'm just you know checking here if the student one of it is not null, then i will print the statements and in a catch block i have printed the exception to the console all right so i have given id3 and this id is not exist in the database so let's go ahead and let's the application and let's see the output all right so look at here so the get method uh, you know doesn't throw any exception if, if the record is not exist in the database so it simply returns a null value and that we have printed to the console okay let us let me check, let me demonstrate in case of so in case of load method uh, if the record is not found in a database then it should throw the uh, object not found exception right so look at here we are passing id4 this id is not existing so look at here we have id1 and 2 and id4 is not existing in the database so let's run this application and let's see the output yeah here we go object not found exception all right this means that load method whenever we pass a id which is not exist in the database then load method will throw the exception but in case of get method it will return simply a null all right okay let me summarize the get and load method and uh, when to use get and load method so get method loads the data as soon as it it's called so whereas lo load method returns a proxy object and loads the data only when it's actually required so load is better uh, the better because it supports a lazy loading okay so since load throws exceptions when data is not found we should use it only when we know that data exists in a database so we should use a get when we want to make sure that data exists in a database please subscribe to our youtube channel to view more videos on java ecosystem click click the thumbs up to like our video thanks for watching i will see you in the next video